nothing compares to the wonders of our world. For eons, we have created history, science, and music. Humanity has created quite the spot for itself on this earth. Even now, we discover and create endlessly. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three amazing discoveries. Uncontacted tribe found deep in Amazon rainforest. Surprising as it may sound, there are still countless tribes which our modern civilizations have never contacted for a plethora of reasons. The first is that they might just be hidden within the vastness of the Amazon. Alternatively, even when we are aware of a secluded tribe, making it is not always the best solution. These people have been isolated from the rest of us for hundreds, if not thousands of years. We could easily give them diseases, which we are vaccinated or immune to, that could be devastating for their communities. Brazil has an indigenous foundation called Funai, who specialize in protecting and researching the various tribes of the Amazon. Most of the time, uncontacted tribes are found in clearings on satellite images taken from space. The Amazon is a huge landmass, and therefore it is only natural that there are countless tribes still unknown to us, most of which lie in the most remote corners of the rainforest. Funai's regional coordinator, Fabrizio Amarim, confirmed one such tribe's existence after planes were sent to fly over the area and check whether the satellite images they were spotted on were correct. Indeed, they were. The area seen by pilots and satellites revealed four huts with roofs made of straw, surrounded by tall banana trees in the midst of the thick jungle landscape. It is that the population of the tribe contains about 200 members. Although contact has not been made, their language is assumed to be a variant of the Pano-linguistic family. Funai reports that the tribe lies on the borders of Bolivia, Peru and Brazil. The area itself is officially referred to as the Vale do Javari, and that this tribe is not alone in being uncontacted. Until relatively recently, many tribes were unknown about. Fabricio Amarim Clavale do Javari has the largest number of uncontacted communities in the world. He also spoke of Funai's concerns with the future survival of these tribes, as our ever-advancing world is constantly changing and bringing new threats to their existence. To list a few concerns stated by Amarim, among the main threats to the well-being of these groups are illegal fishing, hunting, logging, mining, cattle ranching, missionary action, and narco-trafficking. The organization has recognized 14 tribes in the Valle do Javari that have yet to be contacted by our outside world. An estimated 2,000 people or so reside in them. It is highly possible that there is a myriad of tribes not yet known about in the thickness of the Amazon jungle. As it stands, Brazilian officials try to limit any opportunities for contacting these tribes, aiming instead to research them from afar. And yet, with the many rising problems, there is a chance we will have no choice but to contact them to warn them of impending problems. Tragically, some of these tribes are fading out at rapid rates. In the region of Tanaru, there is a lone tribal member of a tribe thought to have been slaughtered ruthlessly by cattle ranchers in the area. He is now seen all alone and steadily moving from place to place in his paranoia. Little is known about this poor man. We know not his name, nor age, nor tribe or language. An alias given to him by those observing him deemed him the man of the hole, because he uses holes to capture prey or to hide himself. Contact has been attempted, but rejected. Funai has allocated a small amount of land to protect him, but the surrounding area is full of cattle ranchers who, historically, would hire mercenaries to get rid of the tribal members around their lands. Something in space keeps exploding repeatedly. A mysterious cosmic blast has been spotted by astrophysicists, expelling intense and frequent blasts of pure energy. Scientists are still baffled as to what might be causing these odd explosions. The bursts have been labelled as fast radio bursts, or FRBs. This cosmic marvel originates back in 2007 when it first appeared. The radio aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum is triggered by FRBs, which create radio wave pulses. 
These blasts are short, lasting a mere few thousandths of a single second, but their strength and power is so great it overpowers the amount of energy our sun releases in an entire year. It is common for FRBs to release a radio wave explosion only one time in their lifetime. But the object now known as FRB 121102 and some others release these bursts of energy multiple times at random moments. FRB 121102 was found to be located 3 billion light years away from Earth in a dwarf galaxy. Using the Chinese FAST or 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope, astronomers were able to experiment and explore possibilities with FRB 121102. FAST is the most advanced radio telescope on the planet. It is able to detect the smallest changes in outer space that normal telescopes used by space organizations such as NASA might not manage to see. In a span of only 60 hours, FRB 121102 blasted energy a shocking 1,652 times. That is up to 117 times in a single hour. Never before has an FRB created pulses at such insane speeds. FRBs tend to occur away from Earth, meaning we rarely get a chance to adequately study them. Exceptionally, in 2020, an FRB was discovered in our Milky Way. It turns out that the source of this particular FRB close to us is a magnetar. Magnetars are deceased stars produced from neutron stars. This is the first time we have ever discovered a source of an FRB, and it is uncertain whether all magnetars are the origins of FRBs or just this one. Still, where the FRB comes from is now not known. The leading theory suggests it comes from magnetic reactions on the magnetar's surface. Its magnetic field rivals that of Earth by trillions, and therefore the FRB blasts might come as a result of such volatile magnetic fields. The FRB blasts created by the Milky Way magnetar are nowhere near as intense or frequent as FRB 121102's is. But research into this subject is still fresh and there are infinite things scientists do not yet understand about FRBs. None of the research is yet conclusive. Scientist Victoria Caspi stated, the question is now for the theorists. Blue whales eat three times more than scientists previously estimated. You would think that how much do whales eat would be a simple question to answer, but as it turns out, it's complicated. Whales feed in depths difficult for us to observe. As such, the question has been estimated, but recent evidence suggests they eat far more than previously assumed. Certain species of whales devour feverishly for months on end, only to fast for the remainder of the year. Others eat in alternate food patterns, and other species are yet again different making researching how much they eat tedious. Matthew Savoca from Stanford University states, This is such a basic question. I'd assumed we'd figured it out 30, 40 or 50 years ago. But no one had ever measured it. Savoca and his team put trackers onto various whales across the Atlantic, Pacific and Southern Oceans to try and keep track of their eating, with drones sent to check on the numbers of krill. The end study revealed that a singular blue whale is capable of consuming more than 16 tons of food daily. This is shocking because earlier estimates were about three times smaller than this. A marine biologist from the University of Edinburgh, Sean Henley, claims this study shows that baleen whales play a much more important role in our ecosystem than we thought. Whales contribute vital nutrients to their ecosystems in the form of their defecation, Carbon, nitrogen and iron are spread through the ocean due to whales eating as much as they do. This brings concerns about the dying populations of krill around the Antarctic, as fewer krill means less food for whales which might cause them to begin starving. Awful news considering they are still recovering from the brutal whaling culture of the past few centuries. This also allows us insight into whale cultures. According to Zavoka, killer whales and blue whales are nothing alike when it comes not only to their eating patterns, but also their behavior and interpersonal relationships. Antarctic baleen whales and minka whales especially are still recovering from the intense overwhaling 
of the 18th and 19th centuries, so it's logical that it will take them a while to recover. On a more cheerful note, however, the South Atlantic humpback whales have started to increase in numbers since the 20th century. The numbers of krill are thought to be going down rapidly as the whales recover, but a marine biogeochemist from the Imperial College in London, Emma Cavan, argues that the study, whilst respectable, is too quick to conclude the simplest option. The krill are not disappearing only because whales eat more than we assumed. Cavan reminds the public that overfishing and climate change are likewise causes that are depleting the levels of krill in the oceans. Marine scientists are hoping to put more time and effort into researching blue whales and how to help protect them from the devastating effects of global warming. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.